Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, which is the last trading day of November. Calendar looks light. Liquidity looks thin. A um, little bit of a risk off tone here as we open. Let's take a look at Euro. Uh, first and foremost, we broke through that trend line, uh, which came through at 39. I don't know why I don't save these trend lines, but death knock today is going to be around 35, so we want to buy euros on any dip um, below 50, let's say. Here's that line. 37 today. Between 35 and 45, let's just put it that way. Not sure where we're going to see it. The low's been 59. We're at the highs right now at 75. Um, Euro looks like we're we're going to attempt some sort of breakout. The next big uh, level on the top side is 120.11. So let's uh, keep an eye on that cable, um, which is like the retarded brother of Euro. Couldn't get through 133.97, 134.03. We think 04 is the big go number. There's going to be some Brexit news. This is going to fly. When that happens, I don't know. Um, thank God we locked locked the gun safe here, so I don't have a revolver um, close at hand when I'm trading cable. Been um, been difficult trying to stay long cable but this is the way shit's going higher you can see it is an uptrend but you can see that it is just sort of bouncy and a lot of red bars and a lot of bullshit tails and can this go to 132 the figure of course it can yes of course more lockdowns covid bullshit this that whatever uh rules about fish Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna be patient. Uh, we're not buying dips on this. Uh, we will plow through the highs up there at one thirty four oh three um, cable. Dollar Swiss offered, but just like slowly offered, right? This is like Euro dollar in slow motion. No trade here. There will be bids at ninety cents again um, from the local community. Especially if bonds, U.S. bonds go lower. Today they are not lower, but if they do. Dollar yen offered 104.20 was sort of the turn point on um, Friday. 70, or to be fair, 69 printed last week. Before um, we had this bar here, which took us up to 104.70. This was a vaccine bar. So this is interesting down here, 69. We're trading at 85. This looks like it's headed to 100. Um, but it's slow and it's methodical. Got to be patient. You're yet not doing anything. This is sort of interesting up here at 125.13. Um, but no one's trading euro yen, so let's not... Um, Let's not get our knickers twisted up here for our, this cross yen business. Nothing's happening. Sterling yen also, nothing's happening. Dollars R wants to turn. She's resisting the turn, <clears throat> but maybe risk off today. Gives it a little, little bit of a push. This line was not super useful, although it did turn when it broke that line. These volume bars are a waste of time. Um, I don't know where does it get safely long dollars are is always a good question in my mind I can't see a place that's safe I do think she's turning I do like this baby higher if you want to put on like a little um, mini position and have it more as a position rather than a tactical trade it's probably not a bad idea uh, we do have tiny dollars are in the books, um, but 
this doesn't pay any bills unless we get up to, you know, unless we go 100 handles. So for the tactical book, which is more of the aggressive book, the timing book, not sure yet, but watching it closely. Dollar Max may be more interesting, especially if crude turns. OPEC says something stupid. Let's go into the four hours here and see where these highs are. 20, 2011, 2010. Let's wait for Mexico City to get in before we start fucking around in Dollar Max. Aussie bid but yet offered, right? What's that bar there? O2. Ooh, sold some stocks here. Uh, O2, the high. Now trading 87. This is the four hour late. Is this going to turn because of risk off? Maybe. I wouldn't be long Aussie here, that's for sure. Euro Aussie, no one's playing. Aussie Yen, same chart. This thing's been dancing up there at 77, the figure, for, for a long time. Love me long time, Aussie Yen. I like Aussie Yen lower today now that I'm just talking about it. We... We're short some ES here. 3613. Um, Aussie Yen keeps resisting up at this uh, 77 handle. Let's put some sell orders in there. Um, she looks like she wants to turn to me. I think we're going to get risk off this week. Um, we'll see. Watching this Aussie, Aussie and stuff. No real bingo number in mind for now, but Kiwi, as you can imagine. Same type of, uh, same type of bar. This thing's come a long way, right? Look at this. How steep is that? She's a super freak. Super freak. She's super freaking... Kiwi's a bit of a super freak on this. Look at that. Bang. I don't know. Aussie Kiwi looks like they're turning people. Careful. 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 Dollar Cad might move today with oil. No idea what's happening there. Dollar CNH. If we go risk off, this thing is, you know, it's pretty low, right? This is the same chart as Aussie, but sort of upside down. Um. Uh, Back up through 660. Maybe. Gold. Looking for a place to buy. The $200 point is um, 1768. Today we traded 67.2. We're on GCG, which I think is the Feb contract. Um, 1773 now. This is basically exactly 200 bucks. The next big support that we see uh, is 50. So between, you know, there's this gap here, although it's a different contract. 52 close, 65 open, never really got back down to 52. This low here it was 54. So between 50 and 55, we like to be long gold. We're looking for this thing to turn. No signs of it yet. Um, let's just see how she looks. Hard to imagine that stock's getting hit here. Um, with the dollar in general getting slammed so much that gold doesn't turn eventually after this sort of wipeout liquidation is over. Let's go to stocks. We just sold some of these guys. Um, Going to be a little bit of support here. Um, at sort of 08 or so. We sold 13s here. We're going to just play on the short side of trading, actually trading at 07 and a quarter now. I'm not sure this is going to fall out of bed, but core short looks to be the way. Um, <clears throat> 52 high today at the open. Big turn bar. And she's just looked like crap ever since, right? 
If you look at all the metrics, people are long up the wazoo. Nobody owns puts. Nobody short. Everyone's happy, happy, yay, yay. Probably a good time to play it on the short side. So we're core short today. Let's see how this thing goes. Nazi, we're not playing, but as you can imagine, the chart looks kind of the same. Nazi just refused to make a new high. <clears throat> anyway, ZB, uh, we're on a new contract now. Um, so this is this is the deck. We do want to sell these maybe 10 or 20 points higher, right? If equities are, are going to go hard left, bonds are going to stay a little bit bid today. So careful of that. And finally, Bitcoin. Over the weekend, stopped out a lot of tactical shorts, which is what it tends to do over the weekend. It usually stops out a lot of um, sensible positions. But that's a pretty badass bounce back to 18.5. Hope you were quick reloading down at 16, between 16 and 16.5. We were not that quick. I imagine you guys were not either, which is why we're here. I want to be core long Bitcoin. I'm trying to trade it, help your average. You do not want to lighten up again this time. Chances are now we break and make new highs. Gave us our chance. Uh, to help the average three thousand three thousand dollars of help there but looks like we've botched it let's see on Bitcoin and crude uh, you know we got OPEC talking and squawking and whatever it's through this level now CLF I don't even know CLF what month is CLF Anyway, I don't know what F is. I think F is January. Uh, January crude trading at uh, 44.50. Through these levels. It's going to be a bit messy crude with these OPEC guys babbling, so be careful. Um, we technically like crude lower, but we suck at crude, so I'm just going to shut up about that. Anyway, that's all we got to say here. We want to buy uh, euros on the dip. We're watching 103.70 closely. We're watching 134, the figure and cable closely. And we're trying to grab some dollar czar. Or we're going to look for a place to to make a tactical play in dollar czar. And we're short ES today. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.